bless America. Everybody, to Nickel City X Wings game three of three tonight, and this one is between Psych, aka J uh, JJ Garon, and Lou the Lunatic. First, representing Team Endgame. We're in the end game now. It's Josephine Jacob Garon, the team captain, and representing the NJO. It's Lou, the lunatic, also the team captain. I am joined now by... Germany from 1933 to 1946 is number 1,556,000 biggest hater. It's Andrew, a.k.a. Drew, a.k.a. Andy Pitt. I, I, I don't know how to feel about that introduction. I think it's pretty high. Okay. Is that like, good or bad? Like 1.5 million out of 7 billion people... Yeah, eight yeah, billion I'll take people. It. I mean, I don't like. Ooh, Nazis I mean, presumably the most of them, except for like half of America, hate Nazis. <laughs> Jesus, don't remind me. Most of Florida, I think, doesn't hate Nazis. Most of Florida are Nazis. Get out. Of Betting Anyways. is open. You can clip that statement, post it online. It will go viral, and Ron DeSantis can kiss my dick. <laughs> but just be careful if you uh. They tried to pass a law that if you talk about the Florida government, you have to register with them. Yeah, probably. It's a legitimate thing where, like, yeah, if you're going to blog about the government, you have to register with the government. It is yeah. upsetting. He doesn't care about America. As we've established, he is a Nazi pro tem. I don't believe his name is pronounced DeSantis. Well, you think it's De Hitler? Well, yes. But at the same time, like, it's a Hispanic name. Are you telling me it's pronounced the whitest way possible? I think that's the way he wants it pronounced. Oh, clearly, yes. But I don't think that's same, how it same should be Same thing as Ted Cruz. That is also true. Is his real name, like, Raphael or something? Yeah, it's Raphael Theodore Cruz, I believe. Is that right? That seems right. Isn't that what Ted's short for, Theodore? Yes. Well, you know what they say. When the going gets tough, the Cruz goes to Mexico. He was born in Canada? What? Who was born in Canada? Ted Cruz? No, there's no way. Yeah, he was, he was he born was, in Calgary, Alberta. But he was running for president. He's a U.S. citizen. His parents thought, are citizens. So I you as long as he's born here, don't you? I guess as long as your parents are citizens. Huh. His name is Raphael Edward Cruz. Well, then Where fucking Canada, come? take him back. Where the hell does Ted come from? His name is Raphael Edward Cruz. What the fuck? American military base in Calgary. Fucking take uh, there him. Why is take there an American? Mil hang on, hang on. Why is there an American military base in Calgary? In case they get uppity. You think I trust those Canucks? Yeah, fair. Kamala Harris went to high school in Montreal. You remember when John McCain was running and they were like, was he? And he was born in Panama. And that was like a controversial thing. Mm, I just remember. That whole time, all of Barack Obama birther shit. 
Yeah. I don't remember anything about McCain. There was like a little bit talking about McCain being born in Hawaii and that may be in it. I remember it was like McCain is the greatest Panama. American hero ever and Obama was born in Kenya. Yeah. Look, Arnie became California governor, but there's no clause. Yeah, but there's no about... law. Yeah, there's no law about not being about being naturalized and being governor. It's just naturalized and being Amer- and being president. Yeah. Yeah. You can be naturalized and be governor all you want. We've had several foreign governors. There's another chance engagement, as you can see, by only one object on the field. Psych setting up high and tight. There actually isn't an age requirement for being a chief justice in America. Probably not. Yeah, the judicial system has like very little requirements or oversight on it. You just something don't, that we. I don't think you change. actually even need to be a lawyer to be chief justice. This is accurate. I you don't have to be a lawyer. Anyone can actually be the chief justice. You just need to be confirmed by uh, the Senate. Yeah. Yeah, the judicial branch needs a lot of oversight that it does not have because right now it's very much uh, free to do whatever the hell it wants, and it's probably a bad thing. Having some amount of oversight on it and ethics is probably good. They actually announced today they're they're changing some of the ethics um, around higher courts, and, like starting to add more rules about like transparency when it comes to gifts and like free trips and stuff, which we didn't have anything like that before. No, it's definitely not fine, Noah. <laughs> when you can just when random people can give judges money, that's probably a bad thing. That's I know that's a hot take, but. You know, I think term limits should be a thing for everybody. Yes, everybody elected would be awesome, or even nominated. I think, yeah, presidential campaigns absolutely should have finance oversight. That's a thing that was passed and then was gutted by the Supreme Court. Yeah, like they should a hundred percent have huge financial oversight because where is the money coming from? Then the Republican Supreme Court was like, no, we don't need that. If we did that, they would discover everything we do is from foreign governments. Yeah. No more lobbying. Yes. All of these things are good. I love all of these things. Take money out of the equation. That would be fantastic. I love that idea. So any reps in Congress are too old to function? I think they're too old to make good decisions. But also too old to function. You don't need a force to do that, Lou. You've got R4. There you go. You figured it out. Well, Could we can made it agree on sensible things, Snipe. Yeah, it looks like he's recovered the force. The NRA. <clears throat> we had sensible well, the, gun the, the NRA feeds into all of that, right? Like, they're huge lobbyists. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're huge dark money donors. I don't know. Somehow, in the three years on stream, I've said this before, and I'll say it again, watching children get murdered and watching your government do nothing about it is fucking embarrassing. Yeah, seriously, how many times does that need to happen before something happens? Well, the answer isn't one. It's not two. <laughs> and it's not three. 300, I assume? Yeah. Not 300. Oh, God. Put guns in the hands of the teachers. I my, see Chris. My favorite, tweet, my favorite tweet about that so far is a teacher who is like, you're going to let me carry a gun, but you don't trust me to fucking <laughs> teach books? You have sex ed? Like, what you don't that? think I can fucking pick out a book for your kid, but I, I, you're yeah. going to let me carry a gun? These fucking yeah. cowards. 
Hulu is so far away from relevancy right now. Uh, it's coming in. <clears throat> Obviously, a gun is more important than a child's life. Well, clearly. Yeah. Think about the guns, Chris. Think Welcome about the to guns. dad gaming. <laughs> oh, gosh. We're going there, huh? I mean, the shoe fucking fits, right? That's what the dude said. Yeah. Afterburners. Afterburners. It's like being a coward using some boy ties. To, to Tanner's point, there definitely is some good that comes out of lobbying in terms of, like, getting information in the hands of politicians, but, like, definitely reform is needed. Because right now it is super unchecked and not great. Listen, if you ever want a fun, fun day of uh, torture yourself, read up on PAC laws. Yeah. No, what you'd really agree with me, McCain Feinfeld, or McCain Feingold campaign finance reform act. Excuse me, you'd be a big fan of that. I think that passed in two thousand three, and then was immediately gutted. Sounds about right. Mm-hmm. Doing a barrel roll with Poe. Do a barrel roll. I don't know if I love that. I I mean, I guess it gives you a shot this turn. You know what? I take it back. Pretty good move. Good job, Poe. The big thing Fisher is the government you. thinks we're still in 1965 where everyone's obviously out to get us, but technology has changed so much they just refuse to acknowledge it. Well, that's because most of the senators are from 1965. Yeah, they're all fucking... They were old in 1965. Yeah. Once again, term limits, you know, probably a good idea. The thing is, term limits have, like, incredible support, like... Yeah. Well, I mean, the same thing with, like, a lot of, like, gun reform is, like, still supported by 70% of Americans. Yeah. Yeah. Common sense gun laws are very popular, yet they never pass because of lobbying. So Vader locks Poe, and that triggers FTC. Poe doesn't hate that, right? It's, I mean, it's a turn. Do you shoot Vader now, is the question. It's five uh, dice, I no matter who think you shoot, unless you backstabber, which would be four. I think you shoot Vader. It's, they're, yeah. they're getting three with Vader, anyways. And you're also going to get a shot with Lulo into Vader. So. Yeah, like... This is a pretty good first engage for Lou, I think, in terms of positioning. Right. He, he turns up. Have trick shot. And Ray for three. Turn. Yeah, Ray for. Oh, oh M98? Was that M98 oh, on Kajuba? Yes. Yeah. Huge. Three hits Look and a crit. Vader. Hey, crit. That's two hey, shields. Two shields on Vader. First shot. Not bad. Yeah, that's really good. Who's using the list? This is almost what Mark Myers flew at Worlds, with the exception of Mark didn't have core on Poe. I don't know what he had on Poe, but it wasn't core. It's had some other stuff on her. So, two dice. And Vader could spend one for one, but that just seems I think it was wrong. Chewy and Baffle, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I don't think own whatever you want is a good plan with guns when they can kill people. Yeah. Like, should you be able to own, like, a sniper, a 50 cal sniper rifle that can shoot through three of your neighbor's homes and still kill everyone there. Like, I think there is definitely... I think you should be there. required to be in a fucking well-regulated militia. <laughs> that is the, uh, the text of the law. I 
Is that too big? My personal favorite thing is when they're like, what if the government, I'm like, what if the government, what? What do you yeah, think you're going to do against the fucking drone? Yeah, it's over. It's over, Rocky. If they, yeah, GG. If something they want, it's, it's done. Good night. <laughs> it's going to be a crit in the cast. That's probably not great for him. No, you would yeah, think. Looking at stuff, you don't have any stuff to do here, Kaz, unfortunately. Kind of did it to himself by it. Slamming. Yeah, I don't love the slam there. That seemed maybe foolish. I mean, it's not law-abiding citizens causing problems. Sure it is. The recent shooter bought seven guns legally. It triggered nothing in Nashville's fucking... Yeah. Yeah, a lot of mass shootings are, ha are happening with legal guns. They're all legal guns. They're all acquired. But saying, say, saying they would break the law anyways is, a, is, a, is not a good... Like, that's a terrible that's not argument. An that's an argument to not pass any laws ever. Yeah. Like, why pass speed limits? Because if people want to break speed limits, they're going to speed anyways. Like, like, that's such a weak argument for, like, anything. Yeah, that's a really sad argument. Well, sure, he's okay, but he was a law-abiding citizen, Noah. That's the thing, yeah. right? When you bought the gun, would you not want to put the extra hurdle there? Yeah, make it harder, as hard as possible. And if you're a law abiding citizen, you should have nothing to worry about, right? Hot take alert. Making things scarcer does indeed make them harder to get. See Alpha Class Star Wings. It's a good point. Supply and demand, it would drive prices up. It makes them harder to obtain. It makes it legal to stop people from obtaining them. Anyone can walk into a Walmart and buy a gun. Yeah. That doesn't you have seem like to a red walk flag. into a back alley to buy a gun. They're going to stop some people from acquiring weapons. And there were definitely people, people who still get weapons. This is correct. Yes, and they will still, that's some not people will still do it, but it helps. Like, no one's yeah. saying that any solution is 100% successful. Like, you yeah. don't stop all gun violence by banning guns. But any solution is better than no solution. Yes. Incremental right? improvements. It's better than doing nothing. Yeah, Lowell and JJ. JJ Lou's not yeah, going to watch this match back. Yeah, Come first on. off, JJ's not watching this match. Second, <laughs> if they don't realize by now that this stream has never commented on a single game of X-Wing. They, they haven't been watching for the past three years. Four years? Three years. Yeah, I mean, take a hit. You know what I mean? Like... Yeah, more more requirements, more tests, absolutely. Restrictions on types of guns you can own. Yep. There's no reason a citizen should own an automatic weapon or one that can fire over 50 rounds in a minute. That's a tool of mass destruction. The same reason I can't own a nuclear weapon, I don't think I should be able to own a tool of mass destruction. <laughs> right. Also, like, when the Second Amendment was wrote, fucking, first off, they never meant for private citizens to be armed against each other. That was never the intent. Second, it was when you could fire one round every 45 seconds. Yeah. We should straight up copy Japan's methods of acquiring firearms. I don't know what Japan's message was. Also, hear me out. Hearing I don't out. know if we should be taking like all of our governmental lessons from people who pooped out in the woods like yeah well yeah i mean there's there's that argument too like maybe these guys uh weren't the smartest on everything like, i like i like the founders as much as the next guy right but like perhaps they couldn't comprehend what a modern world would be because i'm pretty sure i couldn't comprehend what a modern world would be no like because we're not going to comprehend what a modern world will be in 100 years
no one comprehended COVID three years ago when it we all shut down for two weeks and we're like, oh yeah, we'll be back to normal. <laughs> yeah, three years later and people are still getting sick from COVID from the biggest like X-wing event that we've had in a while. Pretty sure Japan has no guns. I don't know if they have any guns or not. I don't know anything about Japan. Take a written test and a class for gun safety. Love that. You can't drive without a uh, written test and a exam. Why should you be able to own a gun without one? Yeah. Cars are also tools of mass destruction for what it's worth. Only Toyotas. Only <laughs> Toyotas. And you have to explain Stop. why you want a firearm and prove it to the government that you deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. Can you imagine what they have to say? Well, my ex-wife has really been bothering me recently, so. I see a legit reason is to handle wild boar. Well, yeah. Of course it is. Yes. And that's, look, if, there you go. If, if you, if you have... Like, if you have wild boars in your area that you're worried about, there you go. There's your reason. You're good. Right? What do you care? What do you care about, like, having restrictions on it? You have a via, like, a, a reason, you know, an actual reason. Go for it. Right? Who's got a boar? I've got a boar. There's a ton of boars in uh, Central Florida. Oh, shit. Ooh, four straight for Cova. I like that. Although, if they two banked, you may be screwed. Oh, self bump. Ooh, JJ. And JJ punished. Rattled. You're rattled by all the gun talk. <laughs> that one. Yeah, that's going to be. Yeah, this one's going to be a bummer for Koba, but. Oh, you don't barrel roll that? I guess you already know who Koba's shooting, so. Yeah. And Uber. Uber? Uber. I know people aren't scared of common sense gun laws and gun laws, and people like to like really over prophesize of like, oh, it's going to lead to restrictions yeah. on everything. We have to do something, right? Because we're doing nothing. Right I now. guess the alternative is just let our kids get murdered. You know, endanger millions of people who the worst crime is the park few parking tickets under the system. We have to do something. Well, Vincent, I'm willing to take that trade. If it it's means just not a tool, having, a tool that having, was repeatedly used to kill people. Yeah. If you look at every other major city in the world that has restrictions on gun laws, that I don't think you're seeing murders by the thousands a day. I don't think America is that unique. I know we like to think we oh, are. Oh, Vader! Vader turns away and hits a rock. Ooh, he got scared. Vader, what are we doing, baby? Our, our gun talk is really rattling, psych. Yeah. Rattle, baby. Burners? Is it fit? Do you try? I don't know if I you think he tried. It. He does. There he goes. Oh, he gets to shoot at least. Uh, no action. No, he is. Yeah, he does. He lands right? on the rock. No action. I don't think the rock makes you skip action phase. I don't see anything. Like that. You have to land on it. No action. If you land on the obstacle, you skip your action, perform action step. Where does it say that? Under the, uh... You can still burn hers, you just can't action afterwards. I don't think it says that. I think I looked Under the obstacle thing. section of the rules reference guide. Uh, you wouldn't believe this, but the word obstacle appears a lot in this fucking word. <laughs> obstacle. Under O. I look under O for rules reference, guys. Obstacles act as hazards that can disrupt or damage ships. A ship can suffer effects moving through, overlapping, or all being at range zero of obstacles. If a ship moves through or overlaps an obstacle, it suffers the effect based on the type of obstacle for resolving its move. If a ship ends up suffers one damage, will one attack die. On a hit, the, the bottom, the ship suffers one damage. 
bottom claws under spare parts. If a ship ends a maneuver overlapping an obstacle, it skips its perform action step. Under and it's what? still under spare. It's under, so under spare parts at the very end. It's the bottom claws of the obstacles. Spare parts. If a ship ends a maneuver overlapping an obstacle, it skips its part under perform it, action step. Okay. It ended its maneuver overlapping the obstacle. The burners doesn't matter. Fair enough. So you can still burn everything and get off of it, but you do not get the action. Put my rules lawyer hat on. Two evades. Vader takes a crit. Oh my it god. Is. Down. Ooh, boy. Goes Vader. I will remember you. Lou out here. He says, hey, boy Vader, get out of my house, baby. Get out of my house! Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of my house! There goes my nickels. Listen, I bet on Lou by accident, but it looks like it may work out for me. Did I close it? I yes, I did. Yeah, you close it, I think. Good job, Greg. Yeah, it's going to be four into Kova, which isn't great. Mm. Seems pretty good to me. Kova takes two more, which is going to be half points, I think, right? Oh, she hasn't rolled yet. She takes three more. That's definitely half points. JJ <laughs> forgot Ubel's ability. Did he? Yeah. I didn't pay attention. I'm not paying attention. Or does Ubel have to shoot the attacker? He does. Yeah, he can shoot Poe. Oof. Ooh, big whiffs. What? Spends a lock. Uh, slightly Man. less whiffs. Two's not bad. <clears throat> Kova. Kova, 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 Kova. You only got one cow because there's only one enemy ship at range <clears> two <throat> to three. Yeah. I mean, even if you trade Koba for Boy Vader here, you're in a really good spot. Tiber Saxon gives her two strains. But does the Black Squadron have a shot? Probably not, uh, but. Kova always does red and lose anyway, so. Um, Vader died. He hit the rock, took two damage, and then got a direct from Poe. <clears throat> yeah, Vader, Vader ate it. Yeah, Vader just barely clipped that asteroid as he tried to turn away, unfortunately. Or fortunately, if you're team NJO. Kova shouldn't shoot if she wants to live. I, You're not wrong. You're 100% not wrong. She should just elect not to shoot here because Ubel can and will kill her. I don't know. It's actually it's three unmodded dice. She may live. It's another one, one more in backstabber who's now officially half pointed. <clears throat> more, more, nice, nice. You can kill backstabber here with that four dice banger. What a banger, fish! What a banger. Later, dies a good guy with a gun. Yeah. It's only happened because it's a fictional universe. I mean, if you kill Kova here, I don't think the game is over necessarily, but it's definitely not in your favor. Who's rolling four dice? Yeah. Roll three. Ah. Well. Yep. Same Back issue. Saber old. is dead. So you can trade Kova for Backstabber yeah, and Vader, and you're cool with that. Yeah. It'll be three on one with the strain. Yep. Three on one. Oh. I got some conversion. Ruthless thing for Ruthless. Walmart. There it is. There you go, Lou. Pushes one more on Kova, but she still has one health, and that's the important thing. Yeah, you're going to make Kova soak up one more shot, which is nice. Yeah. 
Who? Mm. Chest out. Have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I wanted to each for the middle. Eleven to one right now. Holy crap! Oh, half a Eleven to three. 11 to three. Yeah. There it is. Poe and Lulu are full. This is wrapped. This is fly and mighty. Ah, Lou can still snatch defeat from the jaws of victory here if he's not careful. Listen, Poe's in a spot. Well, I guess Poe can run over asteroids. Poe's fine. Yeah, this is pretty much over. Poe's probably not getting a shot next. I guess he could one bank. Poe's in a weird spot. He may just take a turn to disengage and come back. I think you just two bank. Spend your charge, and then you can... Then boost, boost. off. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta get Kaz out of the way, though. Kaz well, is stressed. first, so he's gonna be fine. He has R4. Kaz yeah, Kaz is stressed, so you're probably gonna like a one bank, then a slam one bank the other way or something. Just try to get out yeah. of Poe's way. Just get out of the way. Our post charges, he's got one charge right now. Should have two. Did he not use it this last turn? Don't believe so. <clears throat> then he should have. He hasn't recharged he his right. force either, so I don't think he's recharged his stuff. Ah, you're probably right. Probably correct there. wonder if you Man, back up Kova this turn. 100% you back up Kova this turn. Or you three banker to the left and just try to get out of Ubel's arc. Or you can just try to block Ubel. But Ubel can rotate, so... And just You could just do like a two straight and block Ubel. Because like the ties can't turn on you. Because the K turns hit that debris. The, back squ yeah. the black squadron <clears throat> basically has to one hard barrel roll this turn. Actually, I don't hate that. If you just ram Koba into Ubel... Seems okay. Ubu Loki crazy under costed. I don't know. It's a it's a brute. It still dies. Yeah, it's just, like a the problem with the brute is the eight hull with no shields, one yeah. agility. It just dies. He's basically like a a shittier uh, quick draw, like a much shittier quick draw. Because unlike Quick Draw, where like Quick Draw probably survives two turns, Ubel can just get focused pretty hard and be dead. Yeah, you can one turn Ubel pretty easy. Yeah, you don't even need like a torpedo for that. Like Ubel just dies if you look at him long enough. The problem with Ubel is if you spend all your time either like plinking at him or shooting everyone else around him. I don't know if I'd call a boot a, a, a tie brute way better than a Fang Fighter. At the same price. I don't know about that one. I don't know. Fangs that's are a, really good. Yeah, that's, a, that's a bold claim. Saying a tie brood is way better than a fang fighter. Even a, even a no ability fang fighter. And Ubel. I have a hard time believing that. Much better dial on the fang. Concordia. Yeah. yeah. Better dice. The Fang can reposition and get a mod, which I guess Ubel can, right? He can barrel onto a calculate. Mm, no, only if he has flight. flight. Yeah, only if he has flight assist. Okay. Everyone takes target. Yeah, target assist is better. Yeah, saying Boudica is better than or Ubel is better than Boudica is a very crazy position fly. Why do you say Boudica like booty? Uh, is it a Boudica? What is it? Boudica. Boudica. Fair enough. It's like the uh, the uh, English or the Celtic warrior, right? Boudicca was a Celtic Celtic warrior. I have no idea. I'm mistaken on that. Oh, what? Yeah, my wife's giving me a look that says yes, Celtic. Do you know the British claimer. Because she fought off the Romans. Yeah, Celtic queen. There you go. See. There's, um, so Bodica led a, a raid on London that burned down the city in like the AD, yeah, AD first century. And it was such an effective, uh, fire that you can still see evidence of it in the soil of London. Like if you do like carbon dating everything, you can see a layer of ash. It's fascinating. It's very cool. Pim gets off on the weirdest things, guys. Pim loves history. He almost became a historian, but then everyone around me was like, don't uh, do not do history because what are you going to do, be a teacher? Which they're correct. 
Compared to now when he just works for DeSantis. No, I don't work for the government anymore. He works for DeSantis. Got a new job. Working for DeSantis. For the mouse. He works for DeSantis. I mean, I guess you work for him. Yeah, there's a backup on Kova. I see, I really wish you would have just thrown her, like, just rammed into Ubel because, like, those ties couldn't shoot you if you do that. Oh, Ubel not looking at Kova is surprising, though. Reinforcing the front? All right. I studied history. I'm feeling that pain of what I'm going to do right now. I'll tell you what you're going to do. Not a goddamn thing! Ladies and gentlemen. Big Banksy's. Yeah, that block is fine for Bulo. He gets a bullseye on to Google. There it is. What What did you study history? Like, any specifics, uh, Chris, when it comes to history? Any, like... Ooh, friendly bump. That's a bummer. Any specific eras of history you studied? 1994. Good year? Good year for the Roses? Yeah, Ubel's not getting offensive mods, but Ubel probably also isn't dying this turn with the reinforce. So that's not a terrible choice. Poe takes a shield and he doesn't really care. He's got three of those still. Poe's only choice is into the academy or the black squadron, the BSA. Yeah, if Poe's European history from the Viking Age to 1945. Cool. Coward. Very cool. Uh, no, he doesn't get targeting assist because he has a green token. Uh, you don't get targeting assist if you have any green tokens. M9 and Ray makes it a very accurate shot, but the Black Squadron just focuses. Baller. Yeah, the Brute. I, I don't love the design of the Brute. In terms of game design, the the actual like shoot design is fine, but like the sit the configs just really are a letdown on it. Kaz will spend, I imagine. Hmm. Mauler is basically just a regular Tie Fighter right now. No frenzy of an extra extra die. Ooh. Kingdom for a focus. Saints laser shot. Did not pay off. Lulo. I imagine this is going to go into Ubel. No. It'd be funny if he just the BSA. It's funny if he doesn't shoot Ubel after you reinforce. Well, if you do the range zero shot, you only get two. I think you go yeah. three into the BSA here. Oh, cool. Setting against the Barbarian Trades that fought against the Roman Empire. There you go. See, Chris could probably tell us about Bodica. Yeah. Predator? Optics? Is that not a Predator? Should have used Predator. Luke. What are you doing? It's what are you doing, Luke? It's against the BSA. Oh, my bad. No Optics. You gotta pilot. Pilot. Is the shoot back? Nope. It's not, it doesn't have Ulo. So far, Ubel has not been using, like, not been able to really use his ability that effectively. And here comes Kova, who's going to come out blasting. Four dice into the Black Squadron. It's a two elf Black Squad with no mods. Could kill. Oof. Yeah, let's get spicy, Kova. And one's a crit with marksmanship. We're here for a good time, not a long time. Kova huh? does it. That Black Squadron is not here for a long time either. So I said before, this is like uh, Mark Meyer's list from Worlds. He was the only person in the World Championship flying a resistance transport. There was exactly one in the tournament. So 14 to 4 is your score after turn 3 as we head into turn 4. 
Lou is having what uh, some historians have called a good game. Yeah. And here's the thing. Kaz has not shot one time. Yeah. Kaz is just running like a madman. He's literally an M9 G8 carrier. There's something so, like, fitting for that. So one of the lists I was running at the end of um, 2.0 had Kaz with... Uh, had people M9 locking Kaz. Um, so having Kaz be the one with M9 this time and locking other people was like a nice little, like, you know, pain in the back. A good game is what I call a fantasy novel. Fly the Mighty just out here, like, trashing on his opponents. Or trashing on other people's play, apparently. I'll tell you this about Psyche. He had a bad couple, first couple of engagements, but he hasn't rage quit yet. We don't know that. We had to get him out because his <laughs> mic sucks. True. Hey, you said it wasn't a good game, man. What do you want? Chris, don't stop the history talk. I love it. I love the history talk. So I think... I'm trying to think the path to victory right now if you're psych. It's very slim, obviously. If you kill Kovi, you get three more points. It's not bad. You could kill Kaz in one shot if you're lucky with a couple of lucky crits. It's only down to four. What do you have to do with Poe and Lulo? And that's the problem. Has Ubel fired? Yes, he fired one bonus attack against Koba, did one extra damage. It was yeah, not enough to kill. Got one off. I assume he's gonna have to like maneuver, rotate here. Yeah, he's in an awkward spot. You have to kill Kova, which means you're either doing a hard turn towards her, or you're going like a like a hard turn away and then rotate. Kova could just back up again. I wouldn't hate that. Someday, Cass will. I think he will. I want to know what card he has. He's got to flip his card. Well, he's got a blinded pilot, so there's not a lot of point in him attacking right now. That is also true. All right, round four. Here we go. Psyche is a king. Kings sometimes fall. Yeah, if Psyche is a king, Lou is going for the... Uh, uh, oh, crap, what's it called? Could it trying not? to usurp the throne. The coup? Coup d'etat? Coup d'etat, that works too. Play the card game coup? You're a card game. Fucking got him, right. boys. That's a nun. And Passant. Passant. Isn't that a chess thing? Yeah. We played a couple rounds of coup before uh, the Buffalo Open was when I was with uh, Scoot and uh, Aaron and. Oh, shoot. Who else is there? I'm so sorry. I can't remember his name. That's going to kill me. I think Ubel has to rotate, right? There it is. Nice little kick Chat turns. GBT did not like the en passant thing, or maybe the explanation yeah. was like too long. Chat GBT says, I'm not explaining that to you. Yeah. Like, learn chess on your own time, baby. Ooh, friendly bump. Poe may friendly bump here as well. Should be bad. There it is. 
takes a shield for his troubles. Yeah, if you do the bonus move with the start for the uh, the uh, pawn, you can another pawn can take it. Yes, I understand some of those words. You a big chess player, Greg? No. Me neither. Went on a date once, and she had been talking shit about me. Like, we were planning a chess thing. It was like this chess whiskey bar. Sure. And uh, she was like, oh, I play all the time. I'm going to fucking kick your ass, blah, 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 blah. And I, like, literally accidentally beat her in, like, a couple moves. Damn. It was seriously probably around five moves, and I didn't even know I was winning. And she just, like, got up and left. I'm good. My cat was just in the closet, standing on something and fell. Maybe because your cat doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> it's true. Do you live in Florida? The baller with the shot downtown in the Cova. See, I don't oh, know if I'm taking that shot with baller. Leave this. Leave the strain on Cova and take the shot with Ubo. Right? And it's a three on one. Three dice can only mean one thing. Yeah, you should have shot with Ubel first. He's in the Kaz. Kaz is going to take another damage, I believe. Well, that's going to be that's in the Kova. How's it three? Oh, it's Kova not Range one. Yeah, he didn't bump. She gone. Goodbye, Kova. Because Kova had to die. Na, 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 na. Goodbye, Kova. At the Kova, Kova Cabana. She is dead now, and sight, and Lou is sad, but still winning the game. One crit. Evaded. Never say die, psych. To the bitter end. One rule I would really be cool with if they changed would be no crits at range zero. That would be One awesome. cool rule I would be really cool with is if they're like, no tax at range zero. We tried it. I think I, it wasn't good. I think I can live with the attacks at range zero, just not the random crits at range zero. Can't. Can't live with them. Attack dice is much them. better than evade dice. Yeah. But just crits at zero are just so painful. Just any damage you take at range zero is fucking painful. It sucks. Yeah, it hurts high. It hurts uh, low agility ships too much. Greg, correct as usual. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. At the car hey, wash. Yeah. At the spend car wash. Range zero is crazy. Even for default effect, spending force at zero was nutty. So let's just make the best type of ship in the game force users better yeah so many, i'm glad they changed that but now they need to be like attacks at range zero or a mistake sorry about it move on i hope we see some big changes after worlds this year i think the game's not in a terrible space i would just like to see some things updated right it's in a spot where it could be improved greatly with very small changes yes they're they're in a to their credit they're in a good spot where very small changes would be not only welcomed but it would drastically improve the game and you you're getting yep. more value out of the small changes especially right now is a good time to do it everything's a yeah, little bit a slow new, it's a new season right it's a new season yeah. of the game no one has an invite except for I assume Nicholas has an invite for winning the whole thing yeah. Nexus Joust Zone. The Manscope Joust Zone brought to you by Diet Snapple. Diet Snapple Peach Tea. Mm-mm, good. And what? Armalite Rifles. Armalite Rifles. For when you need to defend your cereal against terrorists. Armor light rifles. 
We need to do a better job at vetting our sponsors. Yeah, appropriate sponsor for today's conversation. Yeah. What are they going to think? And I'm glad that cereal is being defended. Tie on the road roll. Into a knot tie. Round five should probably update that. 15 to 8 is our score. Them, make them guess. Make them guess what round it is. I mean, listen, if I had my way, I 100% would be doing that all the time. And Kaz is going to fix Blinded Pilot. Kaz is eligible to shoot. I, I agree with you, Chris. I think SOS is a bad tiebreaker, but I also made it clear that I think X and 1 is a better cut structure than, like, top 8 or whatever. The graduated cut is just so much easier because now it's like, you know exactly what you have to do. Instead of just being like, I hope I have good SOS. But people don't like graduated cuts, so... And if you have intentional draws, graduated cuts can really fuck with that because if you say everyone with seven wins, right, is in the cut or whatever, I don't know. There's weird things you can do with it, but. The intentional draws were absolute bullshit. Yeah. That was the worst thing about the weekend. And what was I don't a disagree. pretty great weekend? That was absolute bullshit. I don't disagree. I took one against a friend because we practiced against each other too much and didn't want to play. But like doing it for strategic reasons, I think is dumb. That was more just about like neither one of us really cared. Did the intentional draw change anything? Yes, it did, Sevwall. Here's what the intentional draw changed. Especially changed, in the LCQ. It changed when you had to win. So here's the thing. I could have won three games, but if they were games two through five instead of one through three, the people who won one through three and then intentionally drawed four and five yep. got in over people who played the first two games and played all five games and won their games it, naturally. It, it was it really, It really effed with the uh, LCQ. I think I was the only person, it was me and my opponent were the only four and O's playing our game at the end of the LCQ. Yeah, it was just kind just of us. Itano, thank you for the Risa. Still be from Depticon, me too, buddy. Glad you drove home safely. <clears throat> Yeah, unless you got home. Nexus, yep. Joust Zone off. Two calculates for Ubel. And a target lock. Sync laser cannon out the back here. Let's go. So cool you can fire that out the back. That is the one good thing with the brood of like. Yeah. Is you can fire a cannon out the rear. And Only two. two hits. Taz. Take another one. It's half on Kaz. It is half on Kaz. Still and doesn't Saxon. turn off the ability yet. Nope. Yeah, he's going to Saxon him, so Kaz and Lulo should maybe not shoot. That does put JJ in the double digits. You know, I don't, I don't think I agree with you fly about intentionally manipulating determining results of scumbag behavior when that's part of the game. Like when the TO has made it clear that's allowed, I don't think it's scumbag behavior at that point. I think I think it's I think, I it's think a, incentivizing I think it's a people to A, I think it's cowardly. Sorry to all my friends who did it, but yeah. I think it's cowardly. Yeah. B, I think incentivizing people to take those is just yeah. awful tournament management i agree i think it's a failure of like the, the structure if like if it's if i'm incentivized to not play the game i think it's a failure of the structure yeah 
but I don't blame the players for doing it because if the rules allow for it and it makes strategic sense, then I understand why you would do it. Weston, 28 months, thank you so much. I suspect they allowed it to prove a point. I, I don't, don't think so at all. I don't think so. I think they didn't think that people would math it out. I think they knew people were going to math it out. I disagree with that. I just think, I don't know. Kaz is not going to shoot. Pansy. He doesn't want to incur the wrath. <laughs> just be noticed, be known that Lou wrote that, by the way. Lou called Kaz a pansy here. <laughs> 11 to 16 is your score. Lou has closed the gap. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing, too. Like, X-Wing has been here before, but intentional draws and stuff. Like, also, like, saying yeah, intentional draws. Lesson. We, we've been through this already, apparently. So let's I do the lesson. Want to point out, I do also want to point out, Sevwell, that, like, the intentional draws didn't matter as much in Worlds, but they mattered a whole lot in the LCQ. Worlds was 10 games, and the only people who took intentional draws in the Worlds tournament were, like, the last game where it wouldn't have mattered at all. The In the last chance qualifier, every yeah, everyone who made took a cup. Like, literally, like, it was so embarrassing. Literally, yeah. the first two rows of tables in the last chance qualifier were just sitting there. Not Except playing, for me and Tommy. Turning around. And yeah, literally one game was playing. It was me and Tommy and then me and Ben were the only two for, or like, it was me and Tommy were the only like three O's playing, plus one other guy was playing. There were, there were two matchups that were actually playing. It was me and another guy, and then me and that guy played as four O's, and Tommy it, played as a three one. It was honestly embarrassing, like, when a Legion or Armada player walked over and was like, what's going on? And I had to explain that, and, just be like, and they're like, it's not cheating? Like, nope, I can't, nope, I guess not. Not only is it not cheating, but it is it, like encouraged. Am I encouraged? Like it was, yeah. The idea was brought to you by the TO. Like, yeah. Again, I don't think IDs were brought back because it was ten rounds of Swiss. I think IDs were brought back because, like, I don't, I don't understand why they were brought back. I don't know. That that was honestly embarrassing. I, yeah, I, felt, I think that's... I felt embarrassed that that was our game. There. I think that was the biggest failure of the weekend, at least as far as I'm concerned. Yep, I agree. And if there weren't, like, again, I did take an ID in the in Worlds because I don't want to play my opponent. If IDs weren't allowed, we just would have roaded for it. Like, uh, I think the second most embarrassing thing was how the championship ended. But, well, I would have liked to see an extra round. Like, just give yeah. them another round to play. I it, get right? why they did it, because they wrote that rule. But, like... Yeah. Like, you and, can't really, like, change important. the rule on the fly, but, yeah, like... Yeah, exactly. It's important to stick to what the ruling was. But they should have changed... They should have changed should the have ruling. should have foreseen that happening. Because you knew it was yeah. going to happen. Yeah. Like, someone in the cut was going to draw. So... I've Modified never that. heard of IDs being accepted in any other community, because they're not... Yeah, it's a weird choice that I hope doesn't become a thing. I like Gen Con a lot more. Where it was like if you drew, you just wrote it for it. Like that's not perfect, but it works, right? And it keeps people from doing that. It keeps people from drawing. Magic has IDs. Well, I don't know if Magic's like the best. Just kind of has copy. IDs. The only time there's really an ID in chess is when there's one person who's clearly better than the other and they just feel bad and they offer a draw. It's yeah. never like a strategic thing. It's like a, this is beneath me. I'm really hoping that's one of the, the things that gets changed with the next update is that we get some rules changes about stuff like draws. Yep. I'm not going to hold my breath, but it would be really cool if that happened. I would like them to learn the lesson. Yeah.
drew a game of chess with his opponent because he had to go to the bathroom. Hilarious. It's the only time an ID should actually be legal. I, um... Yeah. My ID was as much about eating my salad as it was about not wanting to play my opponent. It takes so long to... So, if you made it through the LCQ, you had to go register with the event, so you could, um, you had to pay for participating in Worlds, right? You still had to pay the entry fee. So, like, we had, to, I, in our, like, hour-long lunch break, I had to wait in, like, a half-hour line to pay to be in Worlds. And then I had to wait in, like, a 20-minute food line, so I had, like, 10 minutes to eat my salad, so I was like, I don't want to do that. You should check range on that, JJ. I don't know if you have Kaz. Yeah, you do. Close. No, I don't think you can boost here and still get a shot, so... With Lula, I think you just stay there and focus, right? There's no reason to, like, give yourself yeah. a stress. Oh, store champ's gonna be great, yeah. It's about time that we get some store champ kits coming back. But again, the IDs had consequences beyond the two people who were drawing... There were people yes. who are two and two in the last game fighting yep. for their lives who and they don't shut out because of in. IDs because people are too cowardly to play. Well, again, just to point out, Buddha went three and two, right? That's mm -hmm. a good record. And he ended up 69th. Yeah. Because of all the IDs. Like, you don't intentionally draw, there's not that many three and twos. No, there still are. But he's a way better chance of getting in, right? Yeah, and it also fucks the strengths of schedule. Yeah. Oh, going for Mahler, doing a little barrel roll action. I, you know what? I have no idea how strength of schedule is calculated. I don't. Think like people were trying to explain it to me. Legal. I agree with that. There shouldn't be ties in this game. Yeah. Hey, for what it's worth, Gen Con also agreed with you. Gen Con didn't do ties. I think if you, if there's still time, right? The tournament rules say if you tie and there's still time, you play another round. But if you're out of time, I think having it road dependent is fine because there's not much else to like do, right? Because you can't just have people keep playing if you need to go to the next round. Ooh, bad roll for bad roll for Han or for Poe rather. Tons of luck. There you go. There Much you go. Better. Converts. They do have half the most on deliberate OP on account of there's real money involved, but that doesn't make it better. Yeah. That was one of the things I didn't like about the prize wall at Worlds. It's day one for the LCQ. They put a bunch of product up at the prize wall. Um, so like you could just get like a trident for 10 tickets. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's both good and bad. So, like, the good thing is the fact that, like, I guess when the lock. Is this into Kaz? This isn't a Poe. I see. He took a damage from Poe. He's shooting Poe back. Oh, okay. That explains it. Um, yeah, what I was saying, though, there, there was a bunch of, like, actual product on the prize wall. Which felt weird because, like, on one hand, your price tickets were giving you actual monetary value. So that was kind of nice of, like, I know how much this is worth. But at the same time, it's, like, it's kind of lame because I don't want to go to Worlds just to get, like, stuff I can buy in my store, right? Right. I get that. It was, like, a weird 50-50. Well, they, like, they didn't have the cards, right? Not on day one. Day two, they started bringing out other stuff, and that was pretty good. Yeah, I guess I don't really. Last chance qualifier, no real. Kaz yeah, they, they, they is just slowly dying one damage at a time. They eventually brought out a lot more uh, prizing, which is pretty good. I don't think the prizes were an issue, really. Yeah, they, they, they really stepped it up for participation, too. Everyone who participated in the LCQ got a template set. And same with everyone who participated in Worlds. Like They, they threw prizes at us, which was nice. And you can get a lot of prize tickets from playing in some of those pods. 
Yeah, no, I 100% agree with you, too. Of like, it's unfair to those who play all their games. Or like like Greg said, right? People who lose two, then come back and win three. Um, did you not get a template set, Chris? I think he got a template set, but he got like two, three. Oh, you had a missing or... template. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I would just... Uh, there's got to be like an AMG email to send out. Hopefully, we're supposed to be getting like an email from AMG re- like soon because they didn't have the um, the Rebels punch board for the day two participants. We were supposed to be getting those and they didn't show up on time. Um, so we should be getting an email soon about that stuff, hopefully. Um, and then once we get that email, you can just... I'll, I'll make sure you get the email if you don't have it. Then you can email them about your missing template issue. Um, Ubo, hey, question. You know, right? Yeah, yeah, I was going to mention that. Have, like, Ubo's red. Do they have a one hard? They do. It's red. I mean, you, you have, have to do it, though, right? right? Yeah, because if you don't, you're hitting that rock, and the stun is... Stun gives you a damage, the rock gives you an automatic damage, and that's eight. Yeah. Ooh. Well, no choice. Um, I, you have to do it right too. I don't think left. I think left your ass no, goes over that rock. You have to go. You have to go right. Which means you're not going to be able to rotate, and Lou's going to get a free banger right into you. Yeah. AMG does have an official OP person now, so you might be able to hunt down their email. She, there is an OP at AM, uh, AtomicMassGames.com email. Um, so you can always contact that. But like like I said, we're hopefully going to get an email from them soon that's going to coordinate the whole prize distribution for the day two people. And then when, once that happens, I'll send it to you. But it may just be OP at AMG or AtomicMassGames.com or whatever. Yeah, Ubel's in a really bad spot here where Ubel's going to die this turn, but I will say, I mean, Saiga's done a really good job of staying in this game after losing as much as he did. Yep. There wasn't a huge chance of comeback, but, like, he has been trying to claw his way back in there. I mean, the game's over this turn, so it's just about getting as many points as you can. Yeah. I mean, 13 points after that initial engagement is pretty good. Yeah, the Galaxy stuff is being slow to get out there, Noah, too. That's, I know that uh, Knuckles has been really busy with that stuff since uh, Dion offloaded that to CPC, Andrew Knuckles. He's been extremely busy with that, so hopefully soon. You know, I haven't checked my templates either. I probably should do that. I'll let you say that. Whew, the right turn does indeed make it out. But you really wish you could rotate that arc. Yep. And GSP presses have always been kind of like that, though, Noah, where it's like, they just take a while to get them. Which is fine. It is what it is. I don't poke can't do anything, right? Like you can't boost through the rock. As long if the template hits the rock, you cannot oh yeah, he can't boost through the rock. He's stuck. I'm going to hop down there.
it says the the card says you ignore the effects of the obstacles during that maneuver. So you don't get to ignore it when you boost. So you still ignore the effects of it, but you just can't boost off of it. So you don't take the damage, right? You just right. can't boost yeah. off. Yeah. So I got to go. Yeah, undo that, baby. Undo. I would have done a straight then if and I knew that. If the template, if the temp, if the uh, if the template wouldn't go over the asteroid, you can still boost off. But since it goes over the asteroid, you can't complete the boost. Yep. So I mean, he, no take an action here. Yeah. You can't take an action. That's uh, yeah. true. A different action is fine. Uh, a barrel roll would be lovely. <laughs> Not enough. One shot Poe would win. I mean, you pretty much have to now. He's got nine health. Could be hard. Yeah. Especially with Ray. Good luck. Eh, but possible. Just get some lucky crits, right? I mean, you need more than luck right now. Yeah. Ubel range one from Lulo, so that's going to be a four dice banger. Two, so he could live. Nine damage on six dice. Good luck. So you're saying there's a chance. Nope, Ubel's dead. Goodbye, Ubel. Never said there was a chance. Never even hinted at it. Goodbye, sweet prince. Panicked. Nah, who cares? More stress. We might as well see if we can get half on Poe. We do get one calculate. Two hits. Poe. Takes two. He's got, is, he, is he in Ray's arc? Or the side arc? Does look like he is, but doesn't seem to remember, right? Why no Rufus? Uh, that's a good point. That's a great point. <clears throat> I think he's a little rattled. Should Vader get more power when he's stressed? No, he's not a B-Wing. Only B-Wings get more power when they're stressed. That's how the game works. Mm, you really needed all three. Oh, Predator. Predator. Oh, you really needed all three there. Sykes, I mean, Lou's just been One, hard. No, Syke. Is six half? Sykes been having a hard time. No. No, you need seven for half. Sykes been having a real hard time getting uh, a full string. He can get two consistently, but he just hasn't been able to get the full string. And your final is going to be 23 13. Lou the Lunatic brings NJO into week four with a victory. Tough game there for JJ, but he made it one in the end. But congratulations, Lou and the NJO. You now have a one nothing series lead over Team Endgame. Yeah, I really want to highlight Psych there for really just sticking in this game. Like, you lose Vader, you lose Backstabber. It's a really bad first and, and second engage, but you still stick in the game. You do what you can, and you end up with 13 points. Not bad. Very respectable. Uh, not bad indeed.